How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about again my Chromebook here, my Chromebook uh, from Samsung. So it's a Samsung Chromebook Plus and some of you guys are asking online if you can root the device. Well, Chrome is actually running on basically Linux. So root is a little bit different on Linux than it is on Android, um, even though Android kind of is based in Linux as well. But basically I'm going to show you how to get a root shell on this Chromebook right here. And to do that, we have to turn on developer mode first. So that's what we're gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go do this. All right, let's get root on this bad boy. And the first way to do that is you have to turn on developer mode, obviously, and you have to do that from recovery. So to get into recovery, let's go ahead and just hold down the power button here. And then you can come over here and shut down the device. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here where it says um, escape. You're gonna hold that key down. You're gonna hold down this refresh button right here and then you're gonna go ahead and tap power. And just tap it one time, and then it should boot up into this recovery mode. So from here, to turn on developer mode, it's very, very simple. All you're gonna do from here is go ahead and hit control, or hold control, and push D. All right, so right here it says turn off OS. So turn off OS verification off, press enter your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. So basically what this means is that what's gonna happen is it's gonna wipe data factory reset your device. Just like on an Android device, it's gonna be the exact same situation. So just be aware that that's how it's gonna function. So you'll have to reset up the device once you do this. So we're gonna go ahead and enter and do it. And I think it's gonna go through this. Yes, yeah, so okay, here we go. So OS verification is off, which basically is developer mode. Um, press space to re-enable. This is interesting. Oh, it is off. Press space to re-enable. We don't want to re-enable, so I think we just want to hold power and uh, just to have the thing reboot. Okay, all right. So here's how you get past this. What you do is you got to hit a little combination. I, I was reading on this online, and it's really simple. You, you can either wait 30 seconds and it'll boot up normally, or you can again hit Control D and it'll boot up in developer mode. So just be aware that that's how it is. So your system is transitioning to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Modifications on the system is not supported by Google, so on and so forth. Um, to cancel, turn off computer now. So we don't wanna cancel, we just wanna wait. So you can see it right up there. Um, again, it says waiting 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and try control D one more time just to see if it'll get us past this. Looks like it's still gonna wait 30 seconds. So I think that when you're in developer mode, basically every single time your system boots up, it's gonna do that 30 second timeout period. So just be aware of that, um, uh, that you're gonna have that. It's just a warning, just like you have when you unlock a bootloader on an Android device, you get a warning. So preferring system for developer mode, this may take a while. Do not turn off computer until it has restarted. So we're in the process. There's actually an ETA up here with a percentage and a time. So this is going to be a couple minutes. Let me finish one, uh, come back to the recording once um, we finish this process. So looks like three and a half, four minutes basically to get it done. So guys, that four minutes has now turned into 14. Uh, there's actually a progress bar over here. It gives you a countdown of the total time and then over here time left. So we're getting, we're getting pretty close here at this point. Um, so what I'm going to do once I show you that we have developer mode enabled and turned on is I'm going to show you how to use that root shell to turn on a kind of a cool feature and kind of show you how it functions. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. Let's let this thing finish. There we go. It went to 100%. And uh, not sure what's going to happen next. It's going to probably going to do a reboot, I'm guessing, at this point. And then I'll have to go through initial setup as well. Let's see what it does. There you go, there is the reboot. And again, we're back to re-enabling it. So go ahead and at this point, go ahead and um, go ahead and hit Control D again. And that should make it boot up. There we go, there's Chrome. And should be booting, there you go. So let me go through the setup here and get this thing signed in and we'll get this sucker rocking and show you. All right, we are all set. Everything has uh, installed and we're finishing up the process here. You see, there's just a couple things it's just talking about. Um, everything's just kind of finishing its install process here. 
Um, trying to launch some of my stuff. I see just close this stuff down. We don't need to launch that. Um, but we want to show you how to do the shell, right? So the way you do that is you, on your keyboard, you hold control alt T and that's basically going to open up a shell. There you go. And then from here, we just type in shell, uh, S H E L L hit enter. And then we type in sue do hit enter and yeah, so sudo is functioning, but so we should be able to now basically run sudo commands with, um, you know, it's Linux. So sudo is basically running a sudo command or a root command on the device. So the command I want to do is actually sudo, just to show you this is cool, cross system, except for that's not three S's. There we go. Space dev uh, underscore boot underscore USB SB equals one. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to allow me to then boot my device from one of my USB ports. And you'll see why I'm going to do that. So let's hit enter. Um, we trust you have received usual lecture, local system, blah, 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 blah. All right. So there's some interesting things here. I sure it usually boils down to these three things. Respect for privacy of others. Think before you type with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, so very interesting. Just talking about that and talking about security, but the, the command worked. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and close this and leave these windows. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in this. And this is an uh, operating system on a flash drive with an OTG USB Type-C adapter because that's what my computer has. And I'm gonna show you how to now use that functionality. So we're gonna power off and shut down the device. And then we're gonna power it back up now that we've enabled the booting from USB. And you could put a Linux Destro on here, whatever you want. And then we're gonna hit Control U this time for USB instead of Control D. So Control U. Oh, it freaked out at me. It doesn't like it. Let's try Control D again. We'll get back in the system. That's interesting that it wouldn't let me boot from USB. Uh, I might have to look into that some more. But basically, that is a root shell. Let me go ahead and log in. And just remember that. By hitting that Control Alt T will give you this window, and then you just type in shell to get a shell running on this uh, Chrome OS operating system. So just to show you guys this, we'll just go and do a shell, and then we can get a root shell, local root shell with sudo su. And there you go, you can see there it says local host and has the pound sign. That means you have root access. You'll know that if you do that on any Android device, that's the sign that you have full root access on your device. So pretty cool. Um, if you guys are interested in learning a lot more about Chrome OS, I'm doing a lot kind of diving into it myself and learning what I can. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys a link to a really, really cool uh, post I put on my website about this and all the things you can do with it. Um, it's a pretty full tutorial. And also, if you want to see other things that you can do with this, just let me know. I'd love to hear about them. And you can see, obviously, you can re-enable um, normal mode and not developer mode very easily every time the machine boots up. So if you want to put it right back, very easy to do. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it here on Chrome OS on the Samsung Chromebook Plus and enabling developer mode, getting a root shell, um, which is it's just fun. i got to see if I can get this thing to boot from the stick. Not sure what the deal is with that. I'm going to play with it some more. If I get that figured out, I'll probably show you guys. You can also install Linux on a machine locally. There's some methods for that too. So maybe videos on that stuff as well. But that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.